Hi, my name is Greg Pallia. I'm with Wasp Roofing Systems, and welcome to another edition of Void Board Roofing. Today we're going to talk about uh, spray foam roofs and why they need to be recoded. Um, someone came on our website the other day and they're like, why do these roofs need to be continually recoded? You know, how is that done? Why is that possible? Why do you do it? Um, so that's what this video is going to talk about today. Um, if you've never seen a spray foam roof before, here's kind of a sample of a roof right here. Um, so there's four parts. This is um, simulating your existing roof, this piece of wood on the bottom. Sometimes we use a cover board, sometimes we don't. Um, but the foam goes over your existing roof. Um, and then there's actually two layers, it's very thin, of coating. See the gray part? It goes up top here. So we'll do inch, inch and a half of uh, foam, depending on what kind of R value you need. Um, but then we'll put the coating over top of that and let it cure, let it stand. Um, let it go for a while. Um, that's called the base coat of coating. And then we'll do a top coat of coating over top of that and then embed these granules into that. So there's actually four parts, foam, two things of coating, and granules. So that's the spray foam roofing system as is. Um, but what happens to the coatings over time and why is a recoat unnecessary? Um, over time, um, the granules in the coating, you know, they are sacrificial. They, uh, they erode away just by weather, by foot traffic, um, weathering events, etc. They just uh, go away over time and it's designed to do that. Um, so like maybe on this one it has probably 20 mils of coating on here, uh, which would give you a 10 year warranty. Now at year 10, there might be seven or eight mils of coating left. Um, definitely will be nowhere near zero. Um, there's a reason why the manufacturers um, give certain lengths of warranties for their coatings. They know the coating's gonna last way longer than what they give out for a warranty for. But um, once, that's, once it's year 10, year 11, um, a contractor will just clean the roof power wash it, make simple repairs if needed, and then if you want another 10 year warranty, they'll just add 20 mils of coating on top of your roof, um, and put some granules and you got a new warranty. So the spray foam itself um, never loses any performance, doesn't lose R value, doesn't lose any waterproofing, it's still close cell, it'll be just as good year one as is in year 50. It'll last as long as the building is. But the best thing about a spray foam roof is that you can do the simple recoating over and over again, not do the complete tear off, which is uh, beneficial um, cost wise long term. Um, and that's really it. Just wanted to say, you know, that's how and why a spray foam roof is recoated. Just the coating is sacrificial. It's meant to do that way. And um, yeah, it's very easy, very cost effective long term roofing solution. So hope you learned at least one thing new today. If you want to learn anything more about this, um, there's a blog post uh, link in the description. And uh, thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Thank you.